Hello, um, we're the bison and our um, project was an automated biosuctioning device. So I'm first gonna talk about the problem, the research that we did, and then uh, share the prototype that we made. So about our problem, currently after abdominal surgery um, in babies, there's an excess of bile built up in the stomach um, and this excess of bile can lead to aspiration and death. So the current solution um, is that nurses are using um, syringes in order to remove the bile, but this is a time consuming solution. It's also pretty crude and rudimentary. And also there's a, an opportunity for this to be automated and more efficient. Onto the research part, we sectioned it off into three different parts. So the production um, composition and then viscosity of bile. So with the production of bile, it is formed in the liver and then like the liquid goes into the gallbladder and the rest of the waste goes into the small intestine. But the problem with infants is that their liver isn't fully developed. So sometimes like with the problem that we're facing here, it doesn't go into the small intestine and instead it reflexes into the stomach, which can cause aspiration and it can be very dangerous. So then the composition of bile, it can be sorted into like four different parts. So bile salt, water, electrolytes, and bile acid, um, along with like a few other things, and uh, they can be split off into pH. Also, in addition to pH, we have um, electrolytes and water, which will create electricity. It's also an aspect that we take into consideration for our designs. And then for bile viscosity, in addition to that, we also have the size of the NG tube, which will affect the flow, the flow rate of the design that we will make. The next portion of our process involved the actual design. Uh, we began by scaffolding off something that was familiar to us, a diabetes pump. And the main aspects that we took from this is that there's two components, an external hardware component and an internal tube. In our case, this is an NG tube that's going into the stomach that has a sensor and a suction device. And at the next slide, you will see um, some rough sketches of our hardware and some photos as well. And if I may draw your attention to the bottom right, that is our prototype for the actual um, suction device that will be inserted into the stomach. Obviously in the actual device, it'll be much smaller. Um, but if we go to the next slide, you'll see how that is connected to our fully functioning software, which uses the properties of bile, um, its electrolytes and its pH um, to turn on the suction device only if it is in contact with bile. Um, and we have a, a video for you on the next page. We designed it um, with three test cases, one using an acidic uh, device or an acidic substance, which represented a non-bile fluid in the stomach the second representing the bile in the stomach and the third being an empty stomach and we tested how our device would react. You may be wondering how we control for how much bile that we actually remove from the baby. Um, as you can see here, uh, we have three main fail safes. The pH probe uh, operates on a certain range. And if we exceed that range and it goes above that number, then it begins to suction out bile. We made it so it operates for a maximum of three seconds and then shuts off for a minute before reevaluating the pH of the bile. And in that minute that is, uh, off, it conducts measurements and takes an average so that if it gets a outlier variable that's too high, it doesn't turn on when it shouldn't be. There's also more considerations that we need. Um, in the future, we'd love to integrate the system more optimally considering for things we've discussed earlier like bioviscosity um, and other things like the diameter and length of the NG tube, which influence the uh, resistance. Um, and more future considerations. We'd obviously want this device to run for a long time. 
as well as make it less invasive. All of our work can be found on Google Drive, Google Documents, and Google Sites. So for our accomplishments, um, we were able to create a fully functioning prototype um, and have experience with hardware and software components and multiple safety parameters. Here are our resources, and we'd like to thank Dr. Ashley Taylor, Dr. Robert Weed, Dr. Rasul, um, the whole of Rice University and the student coordinators, and Elizabeth Allen, which is um, a nurse that we consulted for our bio research. Thank you so much.